Edward Jenner, 1749 to 1823. The picture here shows Edward Jenner giving the first vaccination against smallpox to a young boy in 1769. Smallpox was the biggest killer disease in the 18th century. Before Je Edward Jenner, people tried to get immunity against the disease by inoculation. This was when you took a small amount of the pus from a smallpox blister and put it into a healthy person. They developed a mild form of the disease and this meant that their body would learn to recognise the disease and then fight it. Edward Jenner trained as a doctor in London. He spent most of his career as a country doctor in Gloucestershire. He was surprised that the local people here did not need to be inoculated. They told him of the old wives' tale that if you got cowpox, you didn't get smallpox. Jenner decided to test out the tale. He chose an eight-year-old boy called James Phelps. He inoculated the boy with pus from a cowpox spot taken from a milkmaid called Sarah Nelms. James developed cowpox but survived. A few months later, Edward Jenner put pus from a smallpox spot into James Phelps. However, he did not get smallpox. Jenner had made a breakthrough. He called his new method of inoculation vaccination, as vacca is the Latin word for cow. Although his vaccination worked, Jenner could not explain how, and some doctors were reluctant to use a method without a sufficient explanation. As Jenner could not explain how it worked, other doctors could not develop it, so Jenner's discovery was a dead end in medical history. However, some people supported vaccination, including the royal family. By 1802, 12,000 people had been vaccinated. In 1852, the government made vaccination compulsory. This meant smallpox began to disappear. In 1979, the World Health Organization announced that smallpox had been wiped out.